Alright, once on the video by Saint Carla, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, and Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great male, son of Uwell. And shalom to your brothers that are preaching and teaching truth worldwide. And I want to say shalom to the hopeful lit and your brother Kaya come back with another lesson. The spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Today's lesson today's lesson is entitled The Beast Got You Too. <laughs> hey, this volume two. Yeah, this goddamn devil, so I did a listen a couple days ago. This damn devil gave me a copyright. I played a clip, you know, basically going into the American dream. Uh, how it's, it's all a, a facade. And, hey, this goes for you goddamn Edomites too. The beast got you too. Not only does the fucking beast got Jake. The beast got, you, got his own people. And... I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to read this definition again. What is the concept of American dream? The idea that every citizen of the United States should have an equal opportunity to achieve success and prosperity through hard work, determination, and initiative. The beast got you too. Hey, even you low-level Edomites, these goddamn beasts got you devils, man. The beast got you too. Victim right here. This is a victim that the beast got you. As a as brother put, hey Esau, pick yourself up by your bootstrap. Just give you basically the same advice. Yeah, give you the same advice you gave us. The beast got you. The fucking beast got you. So let's play this clip. You try to get the American dream. See what happens? This devil doesn't give a damn about his own fucking people. Let's read this again. This is an idea. The idea that every citizen, she's a citizen, of the United States should have an equal opportunity to achieve success and prosperity through hard work. This sort of thing. Hey, she, she working hard, but guess what? The beast got you. Through determination and initiative. So, I can barely pay my own fucking rent. That means the beast got you. You fell for it. You're trying to go and get this, this education. Not knowing, here it is, when you graduate, you more than likely want to better utilize your degree in the field that you're going to. Unless it's like a teacher gonna be a doctor um, a lawyer but if you're going for like a degree like uh, just a generic marketing degree a business degree a lot of times you want to be able to utilize that degree how do I know I have a bar a, a marketing degree marketing degree those are hard fields to break into if you 22 like I graduated from high school 18 I've graduated college in four years which is rare, very rare to do for someone to go Get out of high school, get a college degree in four years. Most people take them five, six, seven years. I graduated in four years at 22 years old. I could not get a marketing job. What, ended, what ends up happening? You end up being a fucking manager at a restaurant, at a clothing store, or something. So the, the, that same fucking degree that you spent all this time and energy doing, you could have went and worked that ball greens and work your way up to being a manager within that four year time frame versus wasting all this time trying to get that American dream which is get your college degree and go get a great job you fell for it now you can't even pay your own fucking rent beast got you let me, let me run this back hour that's 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 a full load 12 hours is considered full-time student so just kind of put that in perspective 19 hours so let's just say she has two 
three three hour classes. I mean, yeah, three three hour classes. So that's nine. She may have a four hour class. So three six nine. Actually, so she may have two four hour classes. So that's nine plus eight seventeen. So that could potentially be plus, and then a two hour class. So she could have three, five, six. She could be going to six different classes. And she has to juggle that schedule. Depending on, she may have like a, the two hour class may only be on one particular day. The four hour class, she's got to go there at least four, three to four times a week. Depending on the schedule, three hour class, it could be two to three times a week. So she's in school all fucking week long. And try to work for a goddamn job. Beast got you. The beast got your ass. Quit on time, and I still can't graduate early, even though I'm taking 21 credit hours next semester. Damn, this bitch, she bumping it up extra class next semester. 21 credit hours. She is overloaded. Look at her. She still got to study. So she's going to school all day. She's working, probably doing a couple of different app-based jobs, may have a regular job. Then she has a study. I'm surprised she got time to make this YouTube, <laughs> this TikTok video. She need to be studying instead of making a goddamn TikTok. You wasting fucking time. Go study. you man bees got you this is what you're supposed to be doing right here man lamentation 4 verse 21 rejoice and be glad oh daughter eat him i don't see a lot of rejoicing right there why because the beast got you she doesn't seem very happy she doesn't she's happy about her goddamn nails so that money you spending on them fucking nail, you need to be putting it towards your rent, food, or whatever. The priorities are all jacked up. You need to leave getting the nails done to the elites. You need to be focusing on going to school, <laughs> getting your higher education for the job that you won't get, for the student loans that you won't be able to pay off because that's part of the American dream. Not paying off your student loans, getting degrees that, 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 that are useless but the scriptures tell you to do this rejoice and be glad O daughter of Edom that dwellest in the land of us the cup also shall pass through unto thee the cup that cup of slavery is going to pass unto you so you should be you should be like what's that that comedian living my best like you should be, be like him can't think of his name um Damn, I had that song, Smile, Living My Best Life. That's irrelevant to do from Lil Duval. You, you need to be living your best life right now. Like like Lil Duval, man. Song, Smile, bitch, smile. <laughs> so rejoice and be glad, O daughter Edom, that dwells in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Because what? That cup of slavery is going to pass through unto you. So you need to be living it up. You, you got too much stress on you right now. You need to pick yourself up by your bootstraps and figure this thing out before that thermonuclear destruction hit here in the landmass of America, Babylon the Great. Because when, when that when that destruction hits, that's it. You're no longer gonna be in a jovial mood. Because it's gonna be hard. You 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 complain about working four jobs. Man, you could be working for four different uh, um four different masters. You know, here it is, you may get traded from plantation to plantation. To work and you complaining now cool
cool thing about then you ain't got to worry about no higher education. You got to worry about none of those different things because your only job is to whatever your master needs done. That's it. And it's not going to be studying, getting your nails done, getting all this stuff done. Because, uh, I, I mean, let me look at you and see if you were worth anything. <sighs> no, because fuck you, America, for making me pay. No, nah, you're not even that pretty, so. Nah. You're gonna have to be at work. You're gonna have to go work. I mean, one another brother may like you, you know, but as for me, that's a hard path, so you're gonna be working. If you're in my field, you're not gonna be. Any parts of uh, uh, of uh, the women that I be dealing with, so <clears throat> all right. So rejoicing, be glad, O daughter of Edom. The cup also th that dwells in the land of us, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make and shall make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will, no, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So that's what's, so, hey, that's what's, gonna, that's what's happening. The Lord is discovering the sins of you goddamn devils, man. So much so, now you devils are complaining about working. Working all these different jobs. You can't get ahead. You no longer can, can benefit from this so-called American dream. Now it's a fucking nightmare. It's a nightmare instead of nightmare on Elm Street. It's a nightmare on on rural American Street where you reside here in Tennessee. Now, now it's a nightmare for you. See your your forefathers they they enjoy that the baby boomers the uh, uh, different generations before you, mainly the baby boomers and what's the other generation called after that? Uh, let's let me see something. Baby boomer years. People, yep. 19. De these are the ones. They the ones that enjoy it. They had a good lifetime. They were baby boomers and let's let's get the different generations. Baby boomer. Uh, All right, all right, so here it is. All right, so the baby boomers, they had a good life. Generation X, that will be one year right, right I'm right, right on the cusp of Generation X. I was born in 82. So Generation X, so I'm, uh, they consider me Generation Z. What the fuck? No, I'm, I'm X. Because they don't even have me. I'm just, I'm not even in it. That's 97 to 12, it's Generation Z. So I guess I am Generation X, according to these goddamn devils. So yeah, so the baby boomers, they 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 had the best life. But then followed by the Generation X, a little bit less than the baby boomers. But you Generation Z, these niggas said the silent generation. Oh, how about to say, goddamn. Well, people between 25 and 45, damn niggas silent. So yeah, so you not you you're not enjoying that American dream. Same way the baby boomers did. And then Generation X, you know, they got a little bit of it as well. But but you, Generation Z, crying out here in the streets. So what? You need to pull yourself up by, by your bootstraps. Uh, because this is this is what, what ultimately is going to happen. Deuteronomy 30, verse 7. And hey, how will thy power put all these curses upon thy enemies? That's right, so the Lord is starting to transition all those curses that was upon the Israelite onto our enemies and all them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So now you used to tell us to pull ourselves up by our bootstrap. Now, guess what? Now we're telling you, pull yourself up by your bootstrap. Hey, Lord willing, this list was edifying to next time. Shall I warm and a bop a ball? The beast got you.